Early in the morning, the chief priests and elders planned Jesus' execution and handed him over to Pilate. Judas, who had betrayed Jesus, felt remorse, returned the 30 pieces of silver, and then hanged himself. In front of Pilate, the religious leaders started accusing Jesus. He's planning a rebellion against the government. He tells the people not to pay their taxes. He claims to be the new king. Pilate listened to them and then asked Jesus himself, Is this true? Are you the king of the Jews? Yes, I am, Jesus replied. When Pilate returned to the religious leaders, he said, I don't see any reason that he deserves punishment. They continued trying to convince him, We know that he's dangerous. You have to put him to death. Then Pilate realized a way he could get himself out of the situation. This man came from Galilee, right? That means I'm not responsible for him. He should be judged by King Herod. He's in town now, so take Jesus there to be judged. So that's what they did. King Herod had already heard a lot of stories about Jesus and the miracles he did. So he said, perform a miracle for me and I'll let you go free. Jesus said nothing. The king continued asking him more questions, but Jesus remained silent. After a while, Herod got bored. He gave Jesus a kingly robe to wear and put a crown made of thorns on his head. <laughs> then he and his soldiers mocked him, celebrating him as king of the Jews. After that, he was sent back to Pilate. Pilate still had no intention of sentencing Jesus, and Herod hadn't found anything wrong either. So Pilate asked him, Don't you want to say anything to defend yourself? Don't you know that I have the power to set you free? Jesus answered, You have power over me only because God has given it to you. The religious leaders had gathered together a huge crowd outside, and they were all shouting, Put him to death! Pilate tried one last thing to save Jesus. During the Passover festival, it was customary to let one prisoner go free. So he brought an infamous murderer named Barabbas out of prison and asked the crowd, Who should go free? Jesus or Barabbas? The people shouted, Barabbas! And what should I do with Jesus? Pilate asked. Kill him! cried the people. Pilate was afraid that the crowd would start a revolt against him, so he gave in to their demands. Before he sent Jesus away to be killed, he stood in front of the crowd and washed his hands, saying, I am not responsible for the death of this innocent man. After being sentenced to death, Jesus had to carry the cross himself on which he would be killed. They passed through the city on their way to the site of the execution, and many people watched and mocked him. Jesus was to be crucified outside the city on a hill called Golgotha, which means the place of skulls. The soldiers stripped Jesus naked, then nailed him to the cross. They put a sign above his head that said, This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two criminals were also crucified at the same time as Jesus. One of them mocked him. Are you God's son or what? If you are, why don't you just get off the cross and take us down with you? The other criminal interrupted him. Do you still have no fear of God, even now that you're about to die? You and I deserve this punishment, but this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said to Jesus, please remember me when you're with God in paradise. Jesus replied to him, Today you will be there with me. Many people had come to watch the execution. Some of the religious leaders and others had come to mock Jesus. Some of Jesus' close friends were there as well, including his mother, Mary Magdalene, and John. Jesus looked down at the people who were responsible for his suffering and asked God, Father, forgive them 
they don't know what they're doing. Then the sky grew dark in all the land, and it would stay that way for three hours. Jesus was about to die. With his last breath, he cried out, My God, my God, why have you left me? Then he died, and the earth shook. The Roman officer who was overseeing the execution was shocked and said, This man must have really been the Son of God. After that, Jesus was taken down from the cross and buried in a tomb. Jesus' body was buried in a tomb, and the entrance was sealed with a huge stone and guarded by Roman soldiers. <laughs>